Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Today we're going to be talking a little bit about what they were saying to Riley Gaines and also a connection to um, this movement that we see going on. So let's watch this. Uh, by the way, if you want to like and subscribe, please do after this video. If you don't, that's fine too. We're working our way towards a PC soundboard. So if you want to donate, you can donate right here at my cash shop. All love, baby. All right, let's watch this video. wonder what's going on this is a women supposed to be a safe place for women to go but these people showed up outside of this library i believe and uh there was riley has become the face of kind of the women's movement right now as far as what i can see so that's why they're standing outside and saying f you riley because they believe she's kind of the face of this whole <gasps> uh men shouldn't be swimming with women right and so I wanted to talk about what they had on that sign. Why do I want to talk about this? Because I saw a, another video that also went over this. And I really want to discuss this, man. Because this is the kind of thing I think people think when I speak on this kind of stuff. And other people speak on this kind of stuff. And it's just not true. So, let me show you this video. Hi. A quick message for all of you LGB without the T motherfuckers. Congratulations. You've turned on your fellow queer. You've thrown the trans community under the bus to save your own skin. And guess what? You haven't saved yourselves. They're not going to stop with the trans community. All you have done is delay the inevitable. All you have done is proven to people who want all of us dead that we can be divided and thus conquered. All you have done is grease the wheels of the genocide machine. I hope you're happy with yourselves, knowing you've betrayed part of your community and have absolutely nothing to show for it. I hope you're fine with the blood of trans children on your hands, because it will be the blood of gay children next. Hi. Okay, so nothing towards this individual. Obviously something going on, clearly. Uh, but let's talk about that argument, because that's the argument we just saw with Riley Gaines. That... And what you've been hearing a lot of since I talked about the LGB uh, separating from the T, um, I know Blair has talked about the LGB talk, separating from the T, it just disbanding altogether, which I'm more in favor of. Um, this reminds me, and I want to um, say this because it makes sense today. There's a line in Dark Knight where the Joker is talking to Batman and he says, these, these civilized people they'll eat each other see i'm not a monster i'm just ahead of the curve hold on guys all right so i have to i have to say this it is not true that we want anybody to die you know that is just a foolish thing to say just because somebody disagrees with the movement and disagrees with the lgb or the t or any of the other letters, right? Just because we disagree with that philosophy and that ideology does not mean we want people to die, right? It does not mean we're going to have trans kids' blood on our hands. That's absolutely disgusting for you to even say. I, I get so tired of the fear-mongering. I get so tired of them always pushing that. If we disagree, we want them dead, right? If y'all watched Candace Owens yes, the, uh, yesterday, y'all can go watch the video on your own. She talks about how this all began with a man who had gotten his life taken away, Right? And it started the whole hate crime act in 2009, right? And this man had got his life taken away. And they said that he, his life was taken away because he was gay. Well, that story has been since proven to be false. In fact, it was proven back when it happened. It sparked the whole movement really to get going. Um, as far as hate crime and all that stuff, and we hate the gays, we want them dead. Because the person that took the man's life 
was gay himself. They did not want to mention that, that the person who took this man's life because he was gay was also gay himself. When the whole reason the man's life got taken away is because he had money from drugs, right? Apparently he had $10,000, right? Worth the money and in drugs. So they took his life trying to get to the money. That was the story. So instead, but they, instead of putting this man who was addicted to drugs, who also happened to be gay, they only went with the gay part and just didn't even mention he was on drugs. And that was the whole reason that the life got taken. The people, they all knew each other. It wasn't two random strange men killing a gay guy. It was men who also did drugs, who also happened to know the man who did drugs. One of them was, two of them were gay and one was straight. It had nothing to do with that. It all was doing with drugs. My point of saying that is, that's what they continue to do. They make us fear monger. They always saying that we're trying to have them dead. If a gay person dies, that means, oh, we want all gay people de uh, dead. They didn't want to mention Jeffrey Dahmer when he was gay and he was killing all these people. They didn't mention any of that, right? They don't want to mention a man like that because the, what, it, what it does is it makes us more... Uh, it makes us more united than separated and divided. If we can mention that some people who are gay can be bad people, it could also take lives. But we can also say sometimes, you know what? Some people who are gay do die. Sometimes they get murdered too. Straight people get murdered. Lesbians get murdered. Trans people get murdered. If we can just say murder is just bad all around, no matter who you are. If you murder somebody, you're sick in the head. You know, I'm talking about intent to murder, not like. You know, certain situations that self-defense, stuff like that. So, I mean, you go out of your way to go murder somebody. That's a problem. But instead of making it about murder and it being a bad thing, we want to make all this stuff about, oh, it's, it's just, oh, if you take the life of this particular group, that's why we need to protect them. That's why. So if you're against being against, if you're against the LGB, if you're against the T, you want us dead. Who is who? I just want to know who is the big figure. OK, am I sure there's somebody who's messed up in the head who wants these kind of people gone? Yeah, but they're, they normally tend to be crazy people. Right. They tend to be mentally ill. Somebody who wants somebody to be dead just because of their sexual orientation or the color of their skin or whatever. Something's going on with them, man. And yeah, you're right. We should do something about those people. Right. We shouldn't allow those people to talk like that. Right. Because that only spreads more hate. Right. Not that. Uh, They'll have your freedom of speech, but there will be some censoring when you're talking about taking the lives of other people, right? But it's any time. Who is the big figure? Who is the person who's coming out and say, let's, let's take the lives of these trans people. Let's take the lives of these trans people. I don't see anybody doing that. But yet they want to make us feel bad. They want to do the fear mongering. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry to upset you people, but that ain't going to work no more. We're over it. <laughs> We're over it because I'm tired of t treating the LGBT like they're a subsection of the community. You're human beings like we are. You'll get treated as such. We should be together. We should be united. I don't want to be completely different for somebody because they're gay, I, because they're so uh, they're sexually attracted to males and I'm not. So we have to be on different playing fields. We have to be on a different life. You have to go live your life on this side. I have to live my life. No, I can still talk to you. I can still have a conversation and you can still have a conversation with me because you know why? Because we're both human beings. Do we disagree in some things? Yes. But guess what? There's a lot of people I disagree with who aren't homosexuals. It's fine. We can still have a conversation. That doesn't mean I hate you. You shouldn't hate me. We disagree. We disagree on how we go about things or we struggle with different things. Right. There are people who will probably hate me for the rest of my life because I've looked at porn. Right. They probably think I'm a disgusting, sick freak. Right. Because I was addicted to it for so long. I get that. I absolutely get that. Right. But do I think they if they said that they were against porn addicts and we're the sickest people, even if we looked at it one time and they said, I wouldn't assume that they wanted me dead. I assume that they're against porn addicts. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. There's like people who are really against marijuana. I don't think that they want people who smoke marijuana to be dead. So why can't we just say, you know what? I'm not really for the flag. I'm not really for the progressive flag. I'm not for the philosophy or the ideology that comes behind all of that. Um, and I'm just against that whole group. You want us dead. That's not what I said. I said I disagree with the ideology. Can I do that? Am I allowed to do that? You're, you are allowed to disagree with me. Does that mean you want me dead? No. Somebody just told me on X they want me dead. So just because I disagree with something. <laughs> so I don't know. 
I don't know. Um, I'm just speaking my piece, man. I'm just speaking my life. But let me know what y'all think, man. Do y'all think that if I disagree with that group that I want them to be taken away, locked in a jail cell, to rot away? Is that what y'all think? Or do you think this person is obviously going overboard and these type of people are obviously just trying to get us to be fear-mongered, right? They're just trying to push something really extreme just to get us to shut up. Let me know what y'all think. I'm going.